The first level three one is single arm Romanian deadlift. And honestly, this might go in the level two. It's probably like a 2.5 level exercise, but because of the nature of it being asymmetrically loaded and already the stress that the hinge can place on the back in terms of making sure the athletes are engaged and if they're not, that's why I kind of put in the level three because they really need to make sure they have that down because if you didn't and you had athletes even do 25 pounds or something relatively light and they weren't engaged and it's asymmetrical load, I really don't like my chances in terms of a, an injury for the athlete. So that's why it's level three. So I really want to make sure by the time an athlete is getting to this stage that they are really aware of what their body needs to be doing in terms of the core, torso staying tight, hips sitting back, and being able to handle that asymmetrical load and not twisting. So put a dumbbell or a kettlebell in just one hand. And then again, the reps are going to be based on more the hinges and you would alternate which hand, which hand is holding the weight based on sets. If you have an odd number of sets, then maybe the last or the first set, you just switch in the middle there. So single arm swing with a kettlebell is the next one that I really like as my go-to for level three. And again, it's all the power coming from the hips, driving through the heels, snapping those hips. Weight is still on the outsides of the feet and the heels should be very light on the toes throughout while you're swinging. And if it's going above eye level, up the weight. Make sure it's a tough one for them. Don't worry about switching in the air or any kind of fancy stuff like that. I would rather you set the bell down and really focus on being as powerful as you can. Don't get caught up in cute things like switching every swing and now you're more worried about catching the kettlebell instead of producing force. Focus on what's gonna get you results. And switching the kettlebell in the air from one hand to the other isn't getting you any results. It's frankly just kind of wasting time and effort and energy. I would rather you focus on, all right, I'm gonna do all the swings with one arm, set the bell down, then go to the next one. Single arm snatch with the kettlebell is the last level three exercise. And again, this is a double leg one, similar to the swing in that it's loading through the hinge, but instead of the bell just finishing eye level, you're snatching it up just like the name is, snatch, and then finishing in that overhead position there, racking the bell. So this one is definitely level three for hinge and probably needs to be, the athlete needs to be pretty good level three at like a push so that they know that we have the overhead capabilities of catching that weight as well. But those are my go-to level three hinge exercises.